Mosaic. <laughs> we should get the fan going. <laughs> Majestic is all, it's all yeah. cramming. All right. All right. Hey guys, well, Sam and I are making a rare appearance, and the reasons are we're having a toast. Texas. After three years, <laughs> I finished my book. The Forensic Comicologist now goes to the editor, and I see what happens after that. Woo! So, for three years of effort with my good friends and employees, a toast. Cheers. I drank mine already. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Danny sponge, Carson. Danny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And this is my first lap. Yes, that. <laughs> Only the truth here. <laughs> Perfect. Adios. That's right. We're back again. That's we're right. drunk on the sundown rundown. <laughs> Things are looking wilder than this. We wilded. Yeah, we wilded. We've got your fix. The comics. I remember, hey, the, I remember the catchphrase. Yeah, like that. That. I'm out of wine. There's some drag. <laughs> Look at that. It's like the last ice chug, cube. Chug, chug, <laughs> Scrounge, scrounge. Comics came out. I was going to say, we'll, we come to you today, the Sundown Rundown, without comics. We're going to talk about comics anyway. Woo. That's right. Comics, comics, comics. You, you drink? I'll hold. Oh, man. I love this. All right. Comics came out. Mm -hmm. it's kind, of a, kind of a light week, despite it being like the middle of August. The very August. August. Very surprising. A Yugis, where you celebrate your alternate universes. Let me tell you the problem with August, alright? Alright. July and August continue to irritate me as months. Because they break up what should be an otherwise very sensible end of the year. September, October, November, December. Mm -hmm. the, the number of the month is in the names of those months and they're now incorrect. Oh. Really? All the, yeah. Yeah. Wow. How does that feel, right? Wow. How does that feel? This is the world we live in. Yeah. Augustus was like, you want to give me and my daddy Julius Caesar months, so let's just mess with a very intelligent system and ruin numbers for the rest of everyone for the rest of time. They're going to ask one day, where were you when you found out calendars are bullshit? I was right here. The sun down, run down. It's amazing, right? We run them down so the sun goes down. This is what we do. Preaching. The one good thing, one good thing about July and August, the remaining months with July and August, fill out Jason. Right. Anyway, Suicide Squad number one is out. This is not the Rebirth special. This is the official, ongoing number one. Jim Lee is on the title, illustrating. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. It's crazy. Um, Jim Lee, Rob Williams, the Squad, as you saw in the movie. Mm -hmm. It is the same team. Yep. Kind of a similar setup, but. Very enjoyable. Not that the movie isn't. Just saying, you know, sometimes people are like, ah, it's just like the film, or it's just like the TV show, usually in that voice. And you go, no, no, no friend, this is quite fun. Jim That's Lee. That's right. On a similar note, let's talk about Supergirl Rebirth. Oh my, this let's is the, please. This is a Rebirth special. They do some uh, table setting to basically get to the status quo of the TV show. Right. And I, I would like to say, I was bummed. When DC decided to go the TV show route for Green Arrow back in the New 52, mm -hmm. this feels like a very natural progression for the care of the DC Universe, who has kind of gotten the short end of the stick lately. Yeah. She was like, she was new to the planet, she punched a bunch of stuff, she was deceived by hell, she went into space for a while, and then she watched uh, New 52 Superman die. Like, that's all she's done in this new universe, so now she actually gets a life. Yeah, this gives her something to do, gives her a status quo. Bunch of characters. Emmanuel Lupacino does the art in the first one. Yep. Not the main series, I think, just the first issue. But that's all right, because I love her art. I think it's stellar. It's a nice uh, sequence here with the uh, the rocket ship coming out of the sun, and then cut to Supergirl. Glorious. Look it's at a that spread. Really nice book. Uh, Adam Hughes cover. Yep. Lovely. Written by Steve Orlando, who did Midnighter. I like that guy. Yeah, he's really like good. Oh, he's got. He's doing something else soon. Um, oh, he's doing another Midnighter book, right? Midnighter and um. Oh yeah, and, um, a Midnighter, and, Midnighter and Apollo miniseries. Yeah. I think he's doing a like a Batman miniseries too. Oh, is he the one who's working on um the Night of the Monster Men or whatever? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That looks so good. It like looks legit, like monstery. Like there, there are monster versions of some of the Batman <laughs> stuff. It looks wild. Good oh stuff. my god, is this the end? Yes, Klaus number seven is out. I can't believe it. <laughs> Santa Claus Year One by Grant Morrison and Dan Mora from Boom Studios. It's a weird book. I love it. It's, it's bizarre. Yeah. This is the final issue, number seven. 
So pick that up, or pick up the trade when it's out. It's a weird bug. It's just like epic fantasy. Does he attain his Santa Claus form in this? Let's see. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> That's a great final page. <laughs> oh Come man! Check it out. Like, yeah. Pick that up. That's good. Well, under the radar for Grant Morrison book again. But uh, moving over to Marvel, we got Civil War: The Fallen, number one. This is about the Incredible Hunk. Good old Brucey B. It's uh, written by Greg Pak. Who does, the, who does the Hulk series, so if you're uh, reading Totally Awesome Hulk, you might want to pick this up as a completist. It's drawn by Mark Bagley, who, uh, more like Mark Mix Bagley. I've been listening to a lot of comedy Bang Bang. No. <laughs> so I, I thought Mark's uh, bagpipe, and it wasn't really topical or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just all I could think of. So, if you need your Civil War stories. I mean, it's all, all things considered, like, it's a pretty good story. Like, Bruce telling uh, other Hulk people, hey, here's stuff. I don't want to give away too much, but it's fun if you like Hulk stuff. Yeah, it's your your Hulk fix. Mm -hmm. You Batgirl and Birds of Prey fans, here's Batgirl and Birds of Prey. This is a uh, number one, not the Rebirth special. Rebirth special came out last month. Yeah, it sounds right. So this is the official number one. Right, this is the beginning of the adventures for Scooby and the gang. Yep. the The first one I think is a must read. This is a solid book. A little bit of the setup. Yeah. A little bit of the find out how everyone got here. But this is where the story truly kicks off. Where it gets popping. Yeah. Some people say. So check it out. Uh, Shauna Benson and something else Benson. Julie. Julie Benson are the writers. The, and, the 100 uh, ladies. Yes, that's right. Of the the 100 on TV's The CW. And uh, art by Claire Rowe is great. I will thank you to say that this show is called The 100, not The 100. <laughs> is it, it really? That is a point that I have been scolded about from my sister. Is a reminder that at no point it is they, they are referred to as the hundred, not the one hundred. Should have spelled it out. They should have. Also, they're only the hundred for exactly like ten minutes into the first episode. And they're like the ninety nine. Yeah, like the ninety seven or something. Like three <laughs> of them die in entry, and they're that's the kind of show it is. I hear it's pretty baller. Mm -hmm. At least as much as I've watched the ball. Right? This is not the point. Anyway, Catch 100, it's on Netflix. That's right. Two seasons are on Netflix. Use so. it as like a backdrop for what you can maybe expect or not from this series. That's right. And uh, we need to keep drinking, so. Well, is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's this everything. Was, that's this, was, this was a nice reprieve from drinking, but now. Back to business. That's right. I don't know either. I think I was originally going to call this like the Sweet Side Squad. It's like teenage teenage romance. It's about it's about criminals who must babysit in high school. <laughs> oh man, I read that book. 